for this particular gig is quite important to me, very important to me, and I'm very nervous. Um, because, like most of you, I've been a big Monkees fan for many, many years, and uh, I grew up watching them on the television. Uh, and when I was young, Mike was always my favourite. He used to have a huge amount of time for Mike. He was the rebel. He was the one who was going to put his fist through that guy's face. And all the rest of us, if he didn't let them play their own instruments, Mike was cool. Yeah. Then I got a bit older, and I got into a band. And I found that in a band, you need somebody who's going to be the cheerleader for that band. Who's prepared to shamelessly plug that no depth of degradation will be too low for them to sink to to get another four people into the building. And I, and I learned to feel that and to admire that. And there has to be one in every band. And the rest of the band here, don't be offended guys, I'm just saying, you know. So Davey and I, I felt there was a bond. And I came to love Davey for his cheesy gags, his determination to keep the monkeys going, and above all, his desire to entertain. Davey once said, that every time the fridge door opened and the light came on, he did a 20-minute turn. And I, I could really, I could really empathise with that. When I went to the States in 1996, I got to meet three of the monkeys. Peter and Mickey were very, very nice to me, but Davey was beyond belief. I was staying in a crummy motel. He said, we're not having that. I'm going to get you to stay at our five-star hotel. He got me back front, uh, front uh, row seats, backstage passes, and he took time afterwards to meet up with me and have a drink in the bar and discuss the band, he was kindness himself, far kinder than he needed to be. It wasn't like I was some hot, young, 18-year-old girl. I was a hot, young, 25-year-old man, but you know. So, sorry, this ends soon. I just wanted to, I wanted to get, I wanted to get all my kind of sadness about Davy and that out of the way so we can celebrate. Mike Nesmith had it right when he said, for me, David was the monkeys. They were his band and we were his sidemen. So this show is a tribute to Davy, but I hope you'll appreciate that we're not going to try and be the monkeys tonight. For a start, there weren't nine of them. <laughs> and also I recall that at least one of the monkeys could sing. <laughs> and I understand there are some folks in from the United States tonight, so we certainly won't be attempting any American accents. What's, what's up? Hi, 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 Mr. Ray. Have you seen my hat? <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've just said we're not going to try and do the accents. Well, I mean, I always talk about this. Hang on, no. It, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all the Americans. It was supposed to be an American sorry. accent anyway. <laughs> so we hope you'll enjoy the show. I think Davey, I can't say what Davey would want, but I hope he would want this to be a celebration and not a horrible, depressing experience. But sorry, you're stuck with us. <laughs> so get into it, sing along, have a great time. <laughs> And remember, one of the true legends of pop. We'll even be doing mostly sticking to jokes that Davy did through his career. So just so you're aware, you're morally obliged to laugh. <laughs> now tonight, we have a very special guest host. We played with Ian at the Monkees convention in 1996. He was billed as Ian Rogue V and was below us on the bill. So that shows how early in his career it was. <laughs> But this man, as well as being a fantastic comedian, has been the number one celebrity who has championed the monkeys. And he's fought and fought to give the monkeys their due. He took the monkeys as his specialist subject on celebrity mastermind and wiped the floor with their... <laughs> Not that he likes to mention it. And, uh, and uh, he's managed to interview all four of the monkeys. He also plays a very mean ukulele and is genuinely one of the nicest guys in show business. So ladies and gentlemen, give a very big shorties welcome for Mr. Ian Lee! Yeah! Good. What happened to him? So, <laughs> my name is Ian Lee and I used to be on the television. Thank you. <laughs> so we got some Americans in. Yes! Darnish, you're not American. Darnish is my new best friend. I've just met him. I've got no idea who he is. But he's my new best friend because as soon as I walked up to him, he just started rubbing my hair. And I, started, I started rubbing his Buddha belly and... Uh, <laughs> Everything was groovy. Hands up if you've met a monkey, like one of the monkeys, not. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lady in the front. Which monkeys have you met? Um, Davey and Mickey. Oh, really? Yeah. I've met Mike. So, um... <laughs> Alright, calm down. 
Uh, and with, with a nice suit? Oh yes, very. Well, how did Four you? times, David. Yeah. How, how did you meet them? Was this some kind of menage a trois? What was uh, the deal? The point was <laughs> Mermaid Theatre. You saw them at the point. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah total Monkey's Geek <laughs> off now. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird really? Was was it any good? It was excellent. Right, okay. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Have you got the album? Yes, yeah. 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 my sister have the album. It's good, isn't it? It's yeah. good. Yeah. Me and my arrow. What was that? Oh, yeah. Well, this is sorry. I forgot there are other people in the room who may or Okay, okay. Hands up. So you met Monkey's. Hands up if you've ever had a wee next to Davy Jones. <laughs> yeah, total, totally have. This is when he did. When was he? When did he do that weird concert in Devon? Was it 94 or something? Yeah, I think so. Did a weird concert in Devon, right? In this in this hotel that I think Kirk organised. And it was there was about I don't know maybe a hundred people there. And Davy went for a wee break, and I thought, man, I've got to go into the toilet and have a wee next to Davey. And, and, and see Davy's um, well penis. I guess is what I was trying to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, it wasn't there. But I went in, and men won't understand this, women won't. I went in, and there were three urinals. <laughs> Davy was at one, there was an empty one, and there was another bloke there who looked like Noddy Holder. It wasn't, but it looked like, I remember that vividly. I thought, oh no. So I went into the cubicle, I thought, this is the one chance I've got to piss next to a monkey. Excuse my language. <laughs> so I went back and I stood in the middle of your aisle, and I had a wee, and <laughs> I offered David Jones my hand to shake. Now, <laughs> he wasn't very impressed. But with that, I think. Right, so I'm going to do a monkey. I'm going to do a monkey. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to do, do a David Jones song. And I thought I could either do like the obvious monkeys songs, or I could do something a little bit. Are we got like. Who are just like casual monkeys fans? Hey! Danish, na Danish, name one monkey song. <laughs> Danish, name one monkey song. <laughs> Come on, Darwish, there'll be a concerns discussion if you don't do this. <laughs> Sorry, Aiden. <laughs> Sorry, Aiden, of course, from more of the monkeys' side too. <laughs> okay, but are, are, are there proper hardcore monkeys fans in? Yeah. Yeah. Who like know the really obscure stuff? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to test you. <laughs> I'm going to do a song, I've only learned it today, I can't really play this, so I, I'm, I, 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 I'll tell you now, it's going to be rubbish. I'll let you on in a minute, sorry. Take your time. How much I can uh, so, uh, the, 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 uh, this is a real, this song, I can't really play the ukulele, the chords that I got are wrong, and there are a couple of chords I don't know, and I can't do the key change, so... <laughs> so, if, this, if you know it, you can say, who can get it from just this, okay? Oh. 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 Not the day we fall in love, is it? <laughs> The worst song. Ever. There'll be bluebirds everywhere. No. Uh, okay, right. If you know it, sing along, because I can't sing for the toffee. Okay. With a cloud above her head, here comes Rainy Jane. If she stops you, man, she'll bore you with her sad refrain. It's the same old story we've heard a thousand times before. She'll tell you how she broke your heart. I don't know the course of this. Da, 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 we'll start to fall. Hey, Rainy Jane, you gotta stop your crying sometime. Come on, Rainy Jane, it's up to you to make your own sweet sunshine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Seventy-one, David Jones, Bell, Solo LP. Yes. <laughs> uh, turns out none of you knew that. <laughs> it's going to be reissued. It's going to be reissued with bonus tracks. Although I have a Brooklyn version that's got even more tracks than the bonus. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm boring you now. I, I feel I've lost the crowd. It's time to move on. So listen, uh, we are all here uh, because David Jones has passed away. And it's, it's the saddest thing. I was singing "Daydream Believer" to my little boy to get him to sleep. Really I got right. a text saying David Jones has died, and it was just—it's oh, devastating. Goodness. But out of sadness comes yeah. joy, and yeah. comes light, and comes life, and the. the Shorty Black Boys are doing an amazing thing tonight by raising money for MS. So a round of applause to you've already, you've already contributed. Yeah. Shitty disease, my mum's got it, it's horrible, so well done everybody. And there are pots on the bar and around, if you want to put some more money in that would be gladly welcome. Right, boys, are you ready? We are ready! Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get some noise going please. Yeah. Yeah. 